Yeah, old school circular saw used to have the uh, the weird butchery ability. <laughs> hey there, Gregothal. Uh, stop a second. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's where I've got all the books. So we've got the alchemy book. I don't know if that counts, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not counting scrolls. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I want to say 15 books. And you were saying there's 20 or so? So, yeah, I think there's some higher level ones out there I haven't found yet. I got, uh, I got all of the, I think, low and mid-level books, if I had to guess. So we keep seeing repeats of a lot of these over and over again. And I wanted to look at the alchemy book. Oops, not what I wanted. Uh, I think I did not actually grab it. Uh, I did grab it, it just doesn't activate? No, it doesn't activate. Alright, so it's just a recipe book. So, the different potions. So, camel making, mana focusing... Magus Rune, Alchemist Rune, Ocean Starter, Large Adrenal Gland. Alright. Gotcha. So you gotta get the Large Adrenal Gland out of those big beasties like owl bears and trolls and maybe regular bears. I'm not sure. I don't know all the things that contain the Adrenal Gland. You have to successfully get that removed. Potion Starter I can make. The runes I can make. And the focusing tool, if I remember right, is something you can make as well. I just haven't done it. So the potion starter. Oh, there's focusing tool and there's mana infusing. Uh. Copper infusion bracelet gives you the infusing quality. And then the copper circlet gives you the focusing. Alright. So you need a copper bracelet and you can get the infusing done and the circlet. I understand. One hour and two minutes. <laughs> Hairball? <laughs> Hairball? Is that uh, something you get by dissecting the stomachs of uh, cats? Or panthers and cougars and things? Adderall or Prozac or low-grade meth? Ah, I've been passing up all the meth. Fish. Cat food. Eh, interesting stuff. Cooked brains, raw brains, some more different things. Yeah, one of these days I'll do a no spell casting, but all alchemy running. I'll I'll do the uh, some kind of a themed alchemy thing, and I'll deal with this stuff. I'm not gonna branch into this stuff for this run, I don't think. I'd definitely be interested in doing an alchemy run. All right. Uh, so that's what I wanted to look at. So where are we at? Oh, hello. Oh, that's those NPCs up in that barn. Right. All right. Let's uh, let's head back to the LMOE shelter real quick, and then we'll uh, 
We'll rest up for the evening there. And we'll get moving on our our quest for finding some place that can kill Dragon Cthulhu here. Old Puff the Asthmatic Magic Dragon. He's he's pretty rough right now. Thirty-two is just a little awkward for me to drive at. Goes a little farther than I'm comfortable before I can change my direction. Okay. Um, I think we'll just uh, pure light ourselves up to full strength. Close enough. We'll finish that up. And take anything in. Still showing normal weights. Need at least one book. Just keep hammering on haste. I really, really want to just abuse the hell out of that spell. Oh, damn it. I guess I'll just use the light here. Activate. Tome of Magical Defense. Haste, or we're going to lose the light in about four hours, so we'll say four hours. Alright, did we gain it? We are at 2700 to level 10. Didn't gain the level quite yet. That's good enough. Go back down into the bunker of ridiculousness. Take a nap. Only one spell books. All right. That'll work. Seven AM, good timing. Alright, that gives us lots of drive time. Slate, have a couple of chunks of fat. Six thousand calorie breakfast. Still showing regular weight, so I might have to start hitting the uh the fat diet again pretty hard. Make sure we don't slip back into underweight status. We're still peckish. There we go. Sated and slate. Bats are good. Max mana, max everything. And I'm going to take a break right here. We're uh, four hours in, so let me go take a quick break. Get some more cold, fresh water. Cookie time. No, I'm out of cookies. I haven't had a chance to hit Costco for another cookie jug. So, sad times. Poor zombie dog is without his cookies. It's, it's just got some crumbs in there. His head's too big to fit in the jar. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and take a quick break. I'll be back here in just about five minutes. We will keep things running. For anybody that doesn't know, I am uh, doing a partner push. We're right on the edge of going to partner status. So you can attend the uh, live streams. It'd be greatly appreciated. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 p.m. to midnight Central Time U.S. is my standard cataclysm time. So your attendance is greatly appreciated. Any other support you want to offer the channel so we can grow is always welcome. Whether it's tips or uh, subs, all that stuff, or watching the YouTube videos with the uh, uh, ad blocker software on whitelist. <laughs> so you watch an ad or two, so I, I get my .001 pennies per video. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, so feel free. I'll be back in uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, 
settled in here. Urf, can't find the comfy spot. All right. Um, I think I decided while I was away, we're going to spend a little bit of time here. I got an overabundance of uh, fat clusters just sitting here. It's pretty easy for me to smash out a bunch of levels. We're on day 85. I'm not concerned too much about evolution factors at this point. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab. Oh, okay. Not that many, apparently. Uh, 10. And grab the turrets. Dang it. Where the other backpack? Then grab the turrets. And I wanted to grab the translocate button. Where are you at? And go right by it. That one right there. All right, let's wriggle our way back downstairs. We're going to spend a few days here. <clears throat> One of the few things I have left to do on this run is uh, test out some of the magic stuff. So once we leave this spot, really, we're just driving around looking for a way to kill this guy. Um, we're kind of towards the very, very end of the run for this guy. As you can see, nothing the standard game throws at me short of a shocker brute is going to do much. And I can probably avoid him pretty easily with the... Uh, Running away or magic and or shooting him to death with a uh, RivTech sniper rifle. Um, so that's only a problem if I like run into him accidentally. Not, not too much of a tactical, interesting situation. Uh, I would like to find some cool place to send this guy though. Um, worst case comes to pass and we spend another hour or two getting some stuff done, testing out some magic stuff, and I still haven't come across a cool place to really challenge this guy. I'm going to summon up a necropolis onto the map, and we'll uh, we'll send him into a summoned necropolis uh, if I can't find any other location. I'm not just going to keep driving this guy around the map over and over again. So I think this will probably be the final night for this particular challenge, one way or the other. So we got about three and a half hours to go. Um, if by the last two hours to go, because it's going to take a while to, to try to go through the necropolis... But if we've got uh, two hours left, then we still haven't found anything interesting. I think I'll just summon up a necropolis and we'll try to go in. If it'll even let me. Can you summon the necropolis? I'm not sure you can summon the necropolis. Maybe you can. I don't think I've ever tried. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan. I don't want to keep continuing this guy any further than this evening. Um, I tend to lose interest uh, when it gets to this stage. It's just... There's no real interesting tactical decisions left, really. And uh, I get in a hurry, and I, I end up dying to some stupid thing. So I think I remember doing it one time before. I should be able to debug it in. We'll see when we get to that point, assuming we live that long. All right, so I don't care about the alchemy book. I, I'm planning on doing the geospatial because <clears throat> it's the high difficulty. So I just want to get my... Uh, a spellcraft skill up. We're at 10 now, which is, that's healthy. That's that's a good number. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to level that. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. I'll do like a four hour study session. And we'll take a look at how long, how much progress I make towards the level. So let's do uh, geospatial translocate for four hours. We'll see what progress we make. That'll give me an idea how long it might take to continue raising that and whether I think it's going to be worth it. So we got 15% uh, out of 4 hours. Ouch. So 8 hours would be 30%. We'd need to do 3 times that. So a full 24 hours to get a single level. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be the kind of effectiveness that I want right now. We've got some of the spells to a point where I don't see a benefit to improving that any further. I'm not going to use the quantum tunnel. I forgot. Uh, I never really got the, the the chance to use the aura of protection. Um, I 
Ogre's strength would be nice, but it's not super critical at this point. Pretty much everything dies pretty quickly anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Got the uh, Mana Bolt to 55 damage at 16 range, which is pretty hefty. 16% fail chance. Got haste up to 9. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep pushing that. Escape, we've already got to seven. Chances it failing to go off is pretty small, and a thirty or twenty-nine to thirty-six space jump in a random direction will get me out of just about any kind of a problem. Or just over one one turn of movement. So <clears throat> I think I need to t I need to test the Hori Blast. I haven't tried it yet on a group of zombies. See if I'm still having the AoE damage problem. Gravity well I've used previously. Um, Possibly bless. Some of the rest of these are pretty cool, and I'd like to use them, but not. It, it's it's weird for me because I feel like I just want specific spell types or spells for particular character builds, and I'm I, I don't necessarily have that much interest in them on their own. Um, but I can see them being useful for particular types of characters. With this guy's focus, I I really don't need much of a lot of what these things would offer because he's already. To a point where he's impervious and they're really kind of irrelevant. Early game, probably a much, much bigger difference. So let's uh I'm not gonna raise spellcraft any further, I don't think, this run. I don't think I'll get enough benefit out of it. I'd like to just keep uh, smashing out haste levels, I think. So let's uh let's do that. Spend a few days getting haste up another few levels. Uh, we are tired. Let's go one more level. We can get there without going dead tired. Probably not. Oh, my deformed went down to ugly. We're not quite as uh, quite as bad off as before. Oh, we actually got it before dead tired. Cool. Let's have uh, some chunks of fats. Pop down to have a drink. Whole bunch of drinks, as the case may be. Still normal weights. Off to sleep we go. Hmm, I'm gonna die pretty, pretty prettier. I'm gonna die slightly less horrifyingly ugly. I'll still be terrifying and all the other stuff we've got. Still have squiggly legs that don't ever want to go away. The mutations still feel weird. The mutations I'm getting are, for the most part, see there it goes again. I think twice there we had the uh, the fur scale thing just go. So we got lightly furred to furry, then we lost furry, lost lightly, and it flipped back over into scales. So I don't know what it is about the mutation chains, but I mean this combo where we go from furry to scales has happened 20, 30 times. Um, very few other changes are actually happening in the mutation stuff at this point. I'm not sure what accounts for it. I mean, yeah, we're, we're pretty stacked on all the available enchant or mutations for the Chimera line. We pretty much have them all. Not quite all of them. Hey, we're up to very poor mana regen. <laughs> it's good to see that trend is continuing. Thank God I haven't lost greater mana efficiency. We never did pick up a single point of intelligence from any source in the mutation chain. We'll see, but yeah, not, not too many other changes. All this stuff is pretty much just hardwired in at this point, and the chaos is not uh, not really doing much. Hasn't for a while. So, it just seems a little weird. We're kind of uh, stagnated, went, went stagnant. All right, a couple more chunks of fat, still normal weights. Get the uh, turret going again, and uh, no. Nope. 
see if we can gain a couple more of these. And there it goes again. <laughs> we just flip-flopped yet again on the scales and fur. I don't know. Something odd is going on there. Right, now I think we're not going to get another full level. So we'll do uh, four hours. See if we go dead tired. Fatigued, dizzy, numb, <laughs> hurting, sharp pain. Yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, camera. Come on, camera. There you go. <laughs> Man, we got we got super thirsty there. Alright, one more day I think. Then we'll do some driving around, see if we can get into some trouble. Hey, we got our mouth tentacles back. Now we're back to being the Dragon Cthulhu. I think we're only missing the arm tentacles. Stomach's gurgling. Yeah, yeah. I have some calcium, multi. No more iron, I don't think. We're up to 12. We should be pretty close to 13. I don't think I'll be able to push to 15. And there goes the fur again. Didn't quite flip-flop. Oh, I went dead tired. No, keep studying. Finish this level off. Then we'll sleep as many times as we need to. Alright, so we now have haste up to 14 out of 20. 90 turn duration, so a minute and a half. 0% fail chance with our, our primary gear on the way we've had it. I think I'll stop there. That's good enough. 90 seconds, 90 turns, and a 0% fail chance. I think that's all I'm going to push that one. So, let's gather that up. Eat our last chunk of fat that I got with me. <laughs> I get that gone before? Barely. Alright, back to sleep. Are we in summer yet? Day 88. Close. Not sure we're going to hit the uh, summer day four as I think my... Uh, now we're not ugly either. <laughs> We've gone from deformed back to just, just plain old bus with mouth tentacles and leg tentacles. Our gray fur went lightly furred again. Back to scales again. <laughs> just, just, I don't get it. Um, We're not tired. But I think we're close because we usually have to sleep twice after a dead tired status. Let's try to sleep again. Yep, yeah, we fell right asleep. We were still pretty deep into the uh, fatigue. Alright, I think we're all set. Hydrated. What time is it? 10 p.m. That's not the best time. Um, yeah, 10 p.m. just to wake up. That's 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 bad timing. Go grab some more fats from our supplies here. Let's see. I'm done with haste. I'm done with 
Spellcraft. I need the alchemy book. I think if I were going to pick one, it'd either be Bless or it would be the Force Bolt. Mana Bolt, that's the one I have. Alright, take those two. Bless to three. 72 turn, 16%. Yeah, let's do bless for a couple levels. I should have done it for eight hours. I'm going to try it. hope we come out at a better time when we finish this next one. Ideally, we wake up at like 8, 9 a.m. I had my, my druthers. We may or may not manage to accomplish that. All right. More fat. More slobbering down large gallon jugs of water. Proper protection for fighting Medusa is the uh, shield. You gotta have a shield equipped. What do we have? Bless is 41 points. Alright. You, Bless, until you gain a level. All right, Bless, where are you at? 9.4 and 84 turns. Um, let's get it to 90 turns, and then we'll call it good. Which this one might do. Eighty-eight turns, pretty close. Um, I think we'll call that one good enough. Got it up to seven. All right, mana bolt. Stop. Oh, perfect. maybe perfect. Did we actually get the level? We did, yeah, level 8. Cool. All right, up to 64, it's range 17. Sounds good. This will time out better. So we're going to sleep right before midnight, so when we wake up, it'll be time to get moving. Another chunk of fat or two. Still not overweight because of our hypermetabolism. Day 90. Spring day 90. <laughs> Last day of spring. Yeah, the uh, the de deterioration, it never flipped over to disintegration. It just held at deterioration. It's never moved from there. So we never had to uh, do the great uh, purification purge of 2019 to try to get rid of disintegration. I spent all that time <laughs> getting all those purifiers serums put together in anticipation, and we never actually had to use them. So I think I've had more results or more issues from the extreme metabolism carnivore than anything else regarding uh, playstyle and such. All right, sated and hydrated. It is 8:30 on day 90. This will be the third time that I've actually taken a character all the way to summer in the last about I don't know 30 challenges. So many. 
Dump those off. Everything else is our normal fighting gear. Yep. The gear is in okay shape. I don't feel like reinforcing anything. Um, actually, we will do one thing. Taylor's kits. Let's do the main survivor suit. Do the helmet. All right, fine. Do it all. Uh, it said no. I uh, ran out of leather patches. That's fine. All right, got my fat chunks back again. Let's have four fat chunks. Let's have 8,000 calories. <laughs> Still normal weight. Damn that metabolism. Good thing we chopped up that troll for a million fat. Okay, you are, well, I guess that's not too far from your ant, ant hill home. I uh, can't think of any good reason to go mess with the military outposts. I've already demonstrated how to deal with that. Once you got the M2 on the uh, Humvee or any vehicle, just drive around the outside, pop on the turrets, and then uh, deal with the interior. Just beware the grenade-tossing robots. So, the plan now is to just drive north. Just drive. Drive, explore the map, see if we can find a cool place to get into some trouble. One of the rarer locations, preferably. And, uh, yeah, if we don't track something down in about the next hour and a half, we'll summon up a necropolis and we'll send ourselves in there to get killed. Off we go. Would be fun to do another naked run into town. Just to see how crazy things get. With uh, some spell casting abilities and some naked dragon Cthulhu kung fu. Curious what my uh, my dodge gets up to nowadays. If I max out my my spell bonus stats and blessings and all that, get all the stats just jacked way up to the top. Let's see what my dodge is when I'm running around naked. All right, so we haven't been up this way yet. Let's uh, huh? Gee, F in the middle of a field. <laughs> well, we're gonna go there. There's a magic cabin. Hey, magic cabin, hiding as an F in the middle of a field. Made that a little too obvious to find. Actually, I thought it said magic in the name. Does it just have the word cabin? Guess I could be remembering wrong. No, nope, that's the one. Hey there, witches, Kevin. I've got plenty of space available. Um, yeah, what do we got? Beginner's Guide to Alchemy. I already got the alchemy book. Thanks. How about you? Fundamentals of Technomancy. We've got that one as well. Mana potion? Oh no, it's Cat's Grace. Alright, we'll take that. Nothing I need in the desk. Front door. Beginner's Guide to Magic. Again, we've already got. Book of Trees we've already got. So, pretty good cabin. It's got a lot of stuff in it. They want a magic missile. We just... We're getting wands faster than we're getting mana crystals. Still no way to make mana crystals, right, Korg? My understanding is the we don't have an option there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Who's who's knocking stuff down back here? You're not making Really? That noise was a fence going down? <laughs> that was more a uh giant stone wall getting trashed than a little tiny wood fence going down. All right, I believe that is it. No stairs to an upper floor. So, a few spell books. Fungal zombie. We got fungus in the area? Where? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we're still in range of that stupid thing. All right, let's just get out of here. 
Another one of the magic user locations, though. Gapping across to... Oops. <laughs> Cabin. Down the middle of the forest, or the... the plains. Come on, game. I'm not still against the damn tree. Stop thinking I'm still wedged up against the tree. Figure it out. Goofy tree physics. Alright, that's the fishing pond. Body sights. Survival knife. Combat knife. Grenade. Any military ID cards? No military ID cards. Combat boots. Unfortunate. Survival knife's pretty bad at survival bonuses. I don't know why. It's called a survival knife. I guess it's for the variety of, of qualities more than the <laughs> quality of the quantity qualities. Quality of the qualities, I guess is what I'm saying. Seven butchering, one cutting, metal sawing, wood sawing. So, and it has a compass. Owlbear. Uh-oh. Do I want to re-up my fat supply? Or grab parts for uh, <laughs> alchemy that I'm not going to do this run? Here, I'll give you a look at the owlbear if you haven't seen one. Hey there, owlbear. Pretty, pretty boy. That is the horrible owlbear. Result of a genetic experimentation by some insane wizard. Creatures inhabit the tangled forest regions of every temperate climate, as well as subterranean labyrinths. They're ravenous eaters, aggressive hunters, and evil tempered at all times. They attack prey on sight and will fight to the death. Alright, um, I'm, I'm not sure how close my meat is, to, my, my fat supply is to spoiling, I'm not sure I care at this point. Easy enough for me to run around and grab some more, but I'm going to leave Mr. Albear alone. Yeah, let's just roll up right between the uh, dump. <clears throat> Alright, little town, little town. <laughs> Sorry, tree. Tried to turn. My bad. Don't care about that. Looks like we do have a connector up to that roadway. Yep, we do. Motel. Um... Endpoints, endpoints. I don't have any interest in going into the labs. I'll just keep aiming for that spot. Low other tree. Yeah, we um, we get these spikes. There's a uh, very kind streamer who uh, hosts over to me when he's done for the night. So, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Appreciate the uh, the hosting that's going on. But yeah, so it's that time again. It's good to see everybody again. Hopefully they stick around to watch some Cataclysm nonsense while we uh, try to get our, our uh, partner status firmly cemented in. Mill surplus, gun store, forest kind of wedged in the area. I'm going to go around to the side. Don't need to worry about techs. I'm not going to, at this point, bother to try to do anything with CBMs on this guy. Kind of irrelevant. Zombear. Another, another, another tree. <laughs> uh. Oh, we got fungus again. Because, of course, everywhere I go is full of fungus. Damn fungus. I see nothing in here I care about. Anybody else spot anything? Let's turn off the uh, let's turn off the horde indicators. All right, I see no buildings I care about. No use for a mill surplus. No use for a gun store at this point. I'm kind of curious what's at the tip of that endpoint, but I'd have to get 
I don't know. Maybe we can get to it. Let's go around the edge here. Another body site. Another soldier body site with, yet again, no military ID cards. Laser sight I'll never use. Clothes I don't care about. So, by bypass that. Yeah, we're heading right into more and more. There it is. There's the fungal. Tower? Nope. Bloom. Fungal bloom. Um, it'd be a little hard to get to that, but I might be able to see what that endpoint is. See how much running over of stuff we have to do to get there. Another body site with a soldier sitting here waiting for me. Glocks, M17s, M1014 shotguns. Lots of armor pieces that I don't need. Migration packs, clothes, still no military ID cards, and no good weapons or ammo for my main weaponry. Um, let's just keep going. All right, it wasn't as hard to get over here as I thought it would be. What's up there? Oh, we got a bunker. All right, we'll quick check a bunker. I don't remember. Oh, there's an incandescent husk somewhere. Where are you at, husk? Now I can't see him. All right, fine. Be that way. Right down there. Hmm. All right, let's... See if he wants to come play with our Modus. You gonna come play with the Modus or are you busy chasing fungal? I think he's busy chasing fungal. Alright, we need our pickaxe. Let's grab that. Pickaxe. Hop out of our Humvee. Hop the fence. How many ID cards do I have left? Two more. Alright, we'll go ahead and use them. We'll get us in past those. New or old? It is the new version. Pickaxe our way through the doors. No gun. No gun. Don't care about the bathrooms. Don't care about the rec room. Or the kitchen. Or the bedroom. Nothing in there but standard clothes I don't need anymore. I will still check the armory and the... Eh, Guess we did get a um, an auto dock now. Now I actually have to think about it. I think I do have a a CBM or two that are passive that I can install that we can make some use of if we do go to the necropolis. So come on, give me some ammo for my gun. That's that's not the right caliber. Nope, I don't need fifty caliber. I well, I can use the five by fifty flechette rounds. Don't need a magazine or a tear gas grenade. And I don't want the flamethrower. Eh, eh, not bad. Books I don't need. So, operation map will take. Whiskey can stay. And that's where the guy committed suicide. With his M1911, one shot fired. <laughs> Human corpse, hot and rotten. That's the way I like my corpses. Hey there, Zachary Campbell. Yes, I left the flamethrower. I know I'm a dragon and I left the flamethrower. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. What exactly would I use a flamethrower for? Feel free to explain what I would get benefit-wise out of a flamethrower. Were I a new player who hadn't had the fun with flamethrowers previously? Maybe. But um, I'm not a new player. I've had my fun with flamethrowers. This guy doesn't need no flamethrower. I can use it for flamethrower stuff. Can you be a mite more specific? <laughs> Create a path in the forest? I could probably drive this Humvee through a forest, so it wouldn't take me too many tries. I'd probably get a third of the way through, have to back up, repair, slam into a few more trees, back up and repair. <laughs> but I could do it. So we've got an auto dock access. I'm going to go up and check and see if there is anything in our CBM pile that I want to go ahead and install before we call a, a final moratorium on bothering with anything CBM related. So, what on this list? So, alloy plating, yes, that can be useful. Don't care about the anti-glare. No, 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 no. Leg plating. Uh, I 
we're out of space. All right, let's assume we're gonna succeed on the single one. So leg and arm alloy. Unfortunately, I didn't get the torso or the head. Offensive defense takes power. Uh, that's only useful if you actually want to carry more stuff and you don't have strength. And I, I don't have a use for it. I don't have a use for it. Nah, I, I don't have a use for any of this stuff. It would take too many other things needing to be installed, meaning power storage, power generation, then enough power to actually use things like the repair nanobots and the UPS and the offensive defensive system. So they're cool for their own uses and other playthroughs, but for where we're at in this one, nah. What's the integrated tool set's gonna get me? I got a tool belt. I'm not having any kind of encumbrance or weight problems that I have to kind of mitigate and min max my way around. So tool set's not gonna help me any. I've already got a full vehicle with welding rig and so on in it. So it really offers nothing beneficial for me. None of this stuff is gonna change the way this guy functions is what I'm saying. So Joint servo is kind of interesting, but you got to have power to keep it running. And uh, you take negatives when you don't have power running it. So I don't want to fiddle with that when I've got a magic using character. Because uh, your current bionic power is subtracted from your mana pool. So if I have 500 bionic power in my current pool, then I am minus 500 in my mana pool. So I'd rather not, since it's not going to really do much to offset the uh, or, or enhance the character's abilities. So, Titanium Skeletal, normally I would throw that on my character, but usually I run low power characters. My strength is usually like 8 or 9, and I do run into weight problems when I start throwing on my, my survivor gear and my chain mail and all that kind of stuff. But um, for this guy, he's usually running 14 strength, and I'm not carrying, I'm running light gear, so I'm never coming anywhere remotely close to my carry weight unless I'm lugging around a massive item for some reason. So, no, I think I'm just going to stick with the uh, the alloy plating. We'll get our legs and arms upgraded with some extra uh, extra armor and uh, call it good. So, I've got enough anesthetic right now, right? Or did I drop it? Nope, I've got it. So, I think we'll install those and we'll just leave the rest and not worry about it. Nah. This guy is only going to be around for another couple of hours. This is going to be the end of this run. This guy's done in three hours. We're, we're just about to hit the five hour mark for this stream. So, in three hours, this guy's done one way or the other. In one hour, if I haven't found an interesting place to uh, adventure in, we're going to summon up via the debug menu a necropolis. We're going to send him into a necropolis, because there's not too many other places that have any chance of really challenging this guy. So, we'll see. Uh, let's go get our plating in. This will take a while. We might end up having to sleep the night here. So, uh, I need to up my int. So, let's do the synaptic stimulation. That gets us up to 12. And let's do Fox's Cunning. Failed. Failed. There we go. Now we're up to 16 intelligence. So, 16 intelligence and level 8. Uh, first aid and level 8 computers. Pretty much everything that counts. Level 8 electronics. We, we got them all. This should have some pretty good install chances. 5% fail chance. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> sure, throw it in there. And her. Restimulates. And Fox takes 800 again. Barely got enough to get both of them in with max. What, what, what's the chance right here? 7%. All right. No point just to save 5% or 2%. All right. Look at us. Uh, we got... Whoops. We got Diamond Cornea. We got Alloy Arms. And we got Alloy Legs. So if you weren't aware, these basically provide... Uh, Four points of protection, I believe, against bash and cut um, for each body part. So that's that's a lot. I mean, that's that's a lot. So don't pass up alloy plating if you manage to get a hold of it. You can actually craft it as well. It's one of the only 
I uh, gotta have my recipe books, but it's one of the only, it is the only um, CBM you can craft, is the various alloy plating CBMs. Alright, so it's 2 p.m. All right, that didn't take as long as I thought. That actually went pretty quick. Um, head back out. Now we've got some extra protection on our arms and legs. Okay, let's dump here. Actually, no, dump there. Bounds, reloads, get rid of that. Turret. Missiles, pickaxe. Uh, we should probably use that military map. Don't need it now. Alright, so final check. Anything I care about. Any flamethrower. No thanks. Yeah. The rest of them just aren't going to change the way this character operates. <clears throat> yeah, the digestive system would be nice, but he's he's not going to be around long enough to make any difference, so. That's what controls some of my choices and decision making when I'm doing uh, character evaluations and such, is uh, how long I think the character is going to be around for my challenge series. Because um, I tend to have short to medium term goals, and then I end them, so... Getting things that help you survive for long periods of time doesn't really help when you're going to finish out a challenge. Alright, um, what did we reveal? We've got maybe a way of driving through, a cave. Got the road system out this way, endpoints over here we can go investigate. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back down to the road system there. I'm not going to try to connect up to that way quite yet. Actually, I should uh, take a look at the. Whoops. I should uh, take a look at the vehicle. We've hit a bunch of trees <laughs> and a bunch of uh, boulders. Minor damage on the front end. Used to be I would take constant damage to weird components on the interior, but I haven't had that happen lately. I haven't been running with solar panels, which is where I really used to see it that I had on the interior of the vehicle. But um, I'm not taking any damage anywhere, but the place is actually taking hits, and uh, it's been really light. Let's uh, stop driving for a sec. Tap the R key a few times. There we go. Back up to 100% condition on the Humvee. I didn't take any time at all. Again, I love my Humvees. Serve them.